Okay, so we know that soda bicarbonate should not be used where it is not indicated and even in, in conditions where it is indicated, we should not use beyond a point, it is not helpful. So what's the problem with soda bicarbonate? Why we should not use it? What's the harm in using soda bicarbonate excessively? So understand that, I'll try to simplify. Basically, there are three things which is which are happening with when you give soda bicarbonate. So one is the sodium content of the soda bicarbonate. Uh, secondly, the tonicity or osmolarity of the uh, solution. And the third, the metabolic alkalosis which it uh, brings along with it. So let's see. Firstly, because of the extra sodium law, uh, extra sodium content in it, it can cause hypernatremia. We know it's a side effect. Uh, too much soda bicarbonate can cause, uh, sodium bicarbonate can cause uh, hypernatremia. Secondly, because of the extra osmolarity and the sodium content, it draws water from the extracellular compartment to the intercellular compartment and this can cause uh, fluid overload sort of condition which can be detrimental in cardiac patients. So fluid overload is a problem. The third a problem which is there is because of the metabolic alkalosis it creates beyond a certain point. This is very, very important. So metabolic alkalosis, because of the metabolic alkalosis, what happens? The potassium moves from intravascular compartment to the intracellular compartment. It can cause hypokalemia, which can be dangerous. Secondly, this metabolic alkalosis alters the charge on the albumin component and it binds to the calcium, uh, ionized calcium present in the blood. So it can cause low ionized calcium. So effectively, hypocalcium can precipitate it and arrhythmias can happen. Thirdly, because of the metabolic alkalosis, what happens? The oxygen oxygen dissociation curve shift towards the left. So what happens? The hemoglobin is not able to release the oxygen effectively at the areas where it is required to release the oxygen. So relative hypoxia uh, can it can cause at the cellular level. Fourthly, because uh, by neutralizing the acid, what it does? It generates CO2 and uh, also so. The bicarbonate component is also there. See, it diffuses slowly inside the cell, but the CO2 diffuses very fast and it can cause intracellular respiratory acidosis sort of condition. Also, this CO2 production can be detrimental in COPD patients where you have excessive CO2. Fourthly, it can also uh, alter the 6-phosphofructokinase enzymes in the cellular level, which can enhance the glycolysis and can lead to production of lactic acid for which actually we use the sodium bicarbonates. So these are the problems associated with sodium bicarbonates. So you should read more about it. Thank you for asking.